So what stands behind me is London City Airport's new digital air traffic control tower. It's the first of its scale anywhere in the world. And what's unique about it, there are no air traffic controllers in that tower and they are operating London City Airport over 90 miles away at Nats in Swanwick. So we had a real business challenge to solve. Our existing tower was over 30 years old and needed replacing. It was still working well, but we needed a new tower that would support our new aircraft stands and a brand new parallel taxiway. We broke ground on the construction of the tower in January of 2018. It took us two years to build. We built it in stages, bringing component parts along the dock on barges. Uh, we had to work overnight because of the construction cranes, such that we didn't interrupt the operation during the day. The main difference between a conventional control tower, which is where we are now, versus the new digital control tower, is that the windows are effectively replaced by screens. At the top of the 50 metre mast, there is a camera housing, which encapsulates 14 high definition cameras. The data from those cameras is transported via a dedicated fibre network back to Swanwick and is then displayed on a video screen, which displays the panorama to the controllers. The 14 high definition cameras are also supplemented by two pan tilt zoom cameras, which replicate the binocular functionality of a conventional control tower. Over the last two years, the new digital tower has been run in parallel with the conventional operation to ensure it is substantially tested in the live environment. The future of aviation is really exciting. And what this new tower enables us to do is manage our airspace more efficiently and safer as we grow.